six. This one again, I'm, we're gonna keep it to minimal equipment. We're using a chair rack, we're using a single band. Okay, we're gonna use um, a medicine ball. So if you don't have a TRX, get a length of rope. If you don't have a band, get an Amazon account. <laughs> if you don't have a sandbag at this point, I really encourage you to go because again, like we went to Home Depot this morning, basically got the same sort of thing uh, to hold a ladder in place, right? Uh, 60 pounds of concrete costs four bucks, like a bag of it, right? A sand is like a 40 pound bag of sand, or just dig it, dig it out of your yard, right? Get it, get it sorted. So we're using a heavy, heavy nondescript object, a suspension trainer and a big rubber band, okay? So jumping right into it. The first, the first exercise, is gonna be a reverse lunge with a sandbag or medicine ball or a weighted object. In this case, this is 50 pounds. It doesn't have to be this much, but it, <clears throat> when it comes to my lower body, um, I, I'll tend to, like especially in these circuit type things, uh, I'm gonna try to find something a little bit heavier, uh, not just like 10 pounds. So this one's 50. What I want you to do is thank you, I think, just I want you to imagine you're in a front rack position. Okay, so keep both hands at front rack position. Flex your lats down, okay? I'll just lunge back. Keeping my torso vertical, okay? Switch sides. All right, what I don't want to do is go down and bend forward, okay? I wanna be straight up and down the whole time. Flex my lats, move. Switch sides, flex my lats, move. Switch sides. Flex my lats, move, okay? That's the first exercise. Second exercise is gonna be a TRX squat plus a row, okay? Again, if you don't have a TRX, get a piece of rope, right? Get a, you know, one of the best, best things I've heard people using are go to, go to a, an automotive store or go to Home Depot or Lowe's and buy ratchet straps or towing straps. There you go, another very, very inexpensive version, okay? So make sure that, first of all, you can be in this full squat of position. Excuse me, notice my knees, full flexion, hips. I actually am leaning back a little bit because that's gonna force me to keep my lats down. I don't wanna be leaning back, right? And I don't wanna be on the bottom of a squat like this, disengaged, okay? So from the top, lats are flexed. Arms will extend, leaning back. I'm gonna pull myself forward a little bit. Back down. The angle that my back is, is maintained. Like I'm not leaning back any further, I'm not coming back any forward and shrugging. So this position right here. Go down, I have to flex my last down, otherwise I, I fall back, okay? Flex down hard. Right, you are in a constant state of lat flexion here. Lats down, lats down. So think, just don't, don't shrug. Stay on that shrug position, okay? So that's that, this is a, the T-Rex squat plus a row. This next one might take you a second to get into it. This one, you'll have to modify it. It's just a rope, right? You have to put a loop in it, and you'll see why here in a second. This exercise right here, is an extraordinarily good exercise for your lats and your hip flexors, okay? So get the, if you have a T-Rex, get it deep enough so you can put your foot on the strap itself, on the handle, okay? From this position here, again, it's like a plank. A plank is primary lat dominance to maintain that trunk position, okay? Same thing here, okay? I'm gonna pull myself out. I'm pulling my toes to my shin, okay? Lats are engaged. Lift, extend, flex the lats. Put it back, okay? I do not at all want to be in this position. So the entire time, lats are down, okay? Lats are down the entire time. So I, I call this like a, a TRX prone, knees to chest. That's, you can probably name it any other thing, but I'm just naming what I'm doing, okay? Right from the TRX, again, I mentioned the band. We're gonna do just your standard tricep press down, okay? 
Today we're kind of focusing on the posterior chain a little bit more than the front side. So that's the methodology of this. Okay. Same as always, okay? Lock your humerus next to your rib cage. Extend down. All the way up, all the way down. Because I understand if I'm here and I do this, it is no longer a tricep exercise. If your humerus is moving, your focal point cannot be on the triceps, it has to be on the lats, because this movement is a lat movement, okay? So lock in the triceps, opposite of a shrug, down and up, down and up. No rotation, okay? So that's your tricep press down. Then we'll go right into basically the same, same positional lift, but it's 180 degrees difference. Might have to grip a little bit higher so I can open my hands, okay? Now it's flat flexion. Get extension, okay? The elbows, in this case, the elbow is not moving throughout this movement because now the tricep is in locomotion and the lat, I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah. The tricep is now stable so the lat can be in locomotion whereas before the lat was stable so the tricep could be in locomotion, okay? So again, flex the triceps so the elbow joint does not move. We flex the lats. Extend, extend, extend. Flex the lats. Extend, extend, extend. The lat, uh, flex the lats. And I'm just constantly varying my tension by moving closer or further away from the apparatus where the band is at, okay? So same with the TRX. All right, as far as reps and sets are concerned, you're gonna go through this rotation between four and six times based on your, your ability, right? 12 to 15 reps, or you can do the 30 seconds on, 30 off. If you do the reps or the 30 seconds on, 30 off circuit, in either case, you're gonna take 90 seconds in between each full rotation of the five total exercises, okay? 90 seconds in between, four to six sets, 12 to 15 reps, or 30 on, 30 off. We'll do another one. Hopefully this is helpful. I appreciate you all. Stay safe. Be good to each other. We'll do it again.